the bad guys. Never around when you need them. More okay. trouble. Cause more trouble. Hey, there's a dude. Wow, you just can't get your wanted level up. Oh! <laughs> Car kicked me in the head. There's some dudes over here. I can see them on the map. Oh, my wanted level is going down. This is terrible. Okay, I'm killing people over here. No one seems to care. What if you go to a military base? Ah, uh, kill the cops. <laughs> yeah, I think if you click it properly, you can, uh, Get two rockets to shoot at the same guy. This guy's dead. He's a living guy. Yeah, I need, just need to go to a military base. Where are these dudes that are so excited to see me? Okay. Can you run across the water like Flash? In the perfect game you can. Oh. <laughs> Rolling down a hill. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to disagree with you about the not the physics-based damage. I think okay. everything should be entirely based in the physics engine. Okay, what if it applies to enemies but not you? No, because then. If you have it, then you can do cool exploity things like in Battlefield 1942. Oh, like flying, uh, like flying? Yeah, like walking on the wings of the plane just because that's the way the physics works. And jumping off a cliff and fl and pointing up. Well, that was a bug. Yeah. They should have left it in, though. You just build things on the physics engine and other fun stuff just falls out of the fact that that's the way it works. Oh, I've got no more missiles. Yeah, but the walking in the wings of a plane thing seems like the physics engine is not doing damage. It's not involved with the damage at all. That's why it's good. Plus, in the perfect game, you would have the uh, vehicle surfing physics from, from this game. You could surf anything. Cars, planes, even boats. Submarines. Submarines, yep. Blimps. Oh yeah, the blimp. There's a blimp in this game. The Blimpatorium. Do like the blimp. Can you walk on top of the blimp? Oh, sure. Now it's like the Rocketeer. <laughs> Blimpin' ain't easy. <laughs> that was another game that showed promise. Uh, was it Dark Void, since it was essentially the Rocketeer, but apparently it sucked horribly. <laughs> it wasn't horrible, it was just 
not living up to any of the promise of that. Uh. You think a game, game about using a jetpack to hijack UFOs would have no problems? <laughs> Pretty sure my design spec for the perfect game is actually Duke Nukem Forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry, that'll be out in 2030. Maybe that was their problem, they just kept thinking of awesome stuff to add to. Mm. And why don't we have real life uh, blimp nightclubs? Yeah. Uh, I think, I think this would, should be a real thing. <laughs> it would probably take like three hours just to get some people on an airborne blimp. Flying around. You could have like a helicopter ferry or something. Well, we need more. He we, we need rope more, ladder. Yeah. We need helicarriers. Uh, well, th the real system they used for dirigibles was like a hook that would catch airplanes. Yeah. But that was before they had helicopters. Oh yeah. I don't know. I'd, or you could I'd, just lower like a elevator. I. I just look at the giant inflatable things and I think, let's not add spinning metal blades to this situation. <laughs> <laughs> Three days. Well, that's why we need, uh, that's why we'd have jet VTOL aircraft. Vehicle aircraft involves a lot of uh, like thrusting rocket engines. I'm thinking the the blimp nightclub just hovers wherever it wants to go and then lowers a cable with a like an elevator on the bottom of it, and people just get into it and then it pulls it up and lowers it down again, like a space elevator kind of thing. <laughs> What's that thing on the island down there? On that little uh, peninsula circle, right in front of you, right where the cursor. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at it. I don't know what it is. Let's find out. Alright. Oh, I know what this is. It's kind of a secret. Uh, it's a mobile something something. Doesn't show up on the map, but it's uh, something you gotta clear if you wanna get 100. Oh! Ow! Oh. Ow. Oh. Oh. It keeps dying. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. I'm alright. Just have no solid bones left. <laughs> Was this like a like a James Bond villain hideout or something? No, it's not one of those. It's just like a, a big radar dish kind of thing, and I blew it up. Good times. Anyone home? Oh, so these people are still here guarding nothing, huh? Guarding it's the government their, for you. They're guarding their huts. Actually, this was a wonderful civilization before I blew up half of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was a dictatorship. Isn't isn't the villain essentially Ow. a uh, a uh, was it Kim Jong Il uh, knockoff? Yep. I'm not the least bit subtle about it. <laughs> Your boat. No, sorry, I was aiming for the boat, not you. Okay, that time I was aiming for you. Boat! Come back, boat! Does not have uh, water skiing. Sort of, <laughs> sort of disappointed. I'll get over. Put that on the list. No, you can't turn around and shoot them with it. Son, I'm sorry. They got us. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> <laughs>
the hell is that thing? It's a boat. It's a houseboat. It's a trap tongue mao. Oh, yes, yeah. of course. Oh, well, beached it. No, it's good. Five it's second rule. It's got a shallow draft. I think the perfect game should also have the opportunity to drive gigantic vehicles, such as aircraft carriers or battleships. Yeah, yeah that was kind of crazy in Battlefield 1942. <laughs> Beaching an aircraft carrier. Okay, I'm done with this. <laughs> It was Battlefield 1942 was a great game because it was basically just a physics engine with some models in it. <laughs> Have you uh, played the new one, Bad Company 2? Mm -hmm. uh, They're they've all been awful since 1942. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although I heard Bad Company was not as bad. I've heard good things about the newest one. Yeah, that's what I mean. It has uh, the capotable walls. But the the problem is, if after 1942, they actually started trying to make games. <laughs> oh. And they kind of suck at it. Ran that dollar problem all over again. Well, it's inconceivable, but I'm getting kind of bored with this game. <laughs> well, it's getting towards the end of the night. Perfect game would contain no chest high walls. <laughs> no well, it would, but you could smash through them when you were in no, super mode. There'd just be no cover system. Yeah. The cover system is you duck. That's about all you need. No, the cover system is you run around really fast and try <laughs> not to get shot. Also, the enemies are not equipped in completely with uh, hit scan weapons. Oh, come on, I was oh, jumping. Oh, he shot you out of the air. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Would there be bullet time? <laughs>